and welcome to Georgie's Gun Dogs at Trails for Tales Dog Training. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to learn back. So what does back mean? Back means, again, like we were talking in the directional stuff, back means when your dog's out there or you need to handle them and push them back or get them back on the line to stay on that line and push them back. It means go back on the line you're on, okay? Now, again, like with the directionals, there's many layers to back, okay? So what we're gonna learn in here is the introduction. So they learn, my arm goes up, that means you turn around and go back on the line that I'm sending you. Again, with the directionals, it's good to use fence lines to keep them on a straight line. So your hedges, your walls, your fences, whatever, um, so they can learn that back cue of going back okay and when they've got a bit of a barrier like the directions it helps them stay on that line and learn that straight and then you fade it out because obviously you don't want them to only know back along a hedge line or a fence line because that's all they'll they'll end up being in their picture of learning okay so the back one is important but it also with the directions and stuff even with not just the retrievers but the spaniels sometimes you can be hunting your dog and you have to stop to shot and then the retrieve's literally being thrown behind them or there's a blind behind and we have to push them back. We can't always, <laughs> no, we can't always with, um, thank you for pouring me. We can't always, especially in the Spaniel world, we can't always send them from our side, okay? Unless they're like picking up or something like that, or it's like a novice test or whatever, okay? On a shoot with a Spaniel. Majority of the time we're sending them from wherever they are, okay? But again, it doesn't matter even when they're out there handling, we still need to might push them back further. They might stop short, fell short, or we've stopped them, or we're trying to get them back on the line, and then we want to push them back on that line, okay? So it's back, it means go back, right? Turn right round. Some people say go back. I personally just say back. That's what it means. Go back to where on that line, stay on that line. It's behind you. Again, it, when it gets more complex, then you can teach them to turn on that shoulder as well. So if you use back that side, they'll turn on that and back that one. And sometimes can help if they're slightly on an angle on them. Because I do straight backs, but then I do angle backs as well. Because sometimes a dog can stop short, but you know it's just slightly a curve of them or on a, a bit of an angle. So I still also, and I will do it in this video, but I like to get it in there, is that back means it's on an angle to you. So like I use like a three point, so I have a centre back, which is straight line, and then I have my angle back. So it means go on that angle now to where it is, okay? So it helps them then curve into it. And then, or if I stop them and handle them or whatever, but I like to do diagonal backs as well as straight up backs, okay? So then I've got something in my toolbox at all time. So you'll see me teach the straight backs and then you'll also see me teach with Sid, because I'm going to do this one with Sid. You'll see me teach angle back. So I'm listening very intently. Hey, good boy. Okay. So, again, it's we'll be doing them on marks, but the reality is later down the line, you do need to do them on blinds. Because, like I said, you know, even with Sid, he's still learning the blind back. because sometimes I've gone back and he's just like, He's turned, but he's getting confidence with it now. Like, right, I know what she means. Because you'll eventually have to do them on blinds as well. But that's a separate training video all together when we're teaching building in that blind. Same with the directional, same with the backs, okay? But you must remember when with all this directional training is when they're out there, the reality is everything is a blind, okay? Because well, once they need help, that means they haven't seen, they haven't winded, whatever. So they need you to help them to get them towards it, okay? You don't want to be over directional work either, or your back work. Ideally, you want a dog that the best dog will go out there straight towards it. Yeah, so ideally the dog that goes to, towards it, that's what you ideally want. But like I said, you need that support of um, these cues out there, these things for the dog. Because sometimes a dog might look at you and need your help. It's not just you stopping and handling them. Sometimes a dog might get there and go, actually, I'm not sure. Can you tell me which way? So we're also, because we're a teamwork out there. They're not just, right, we leave the dog to their own devices. Don't go on the early stages. I teach that confidence. But we are also a team. So we're, even when you're out there, we're a team together to get what we need, whether that's the bird or whether that's the dummy. We're a team. We're working as a team to do things. So in this next clip, you're going to see me um, build the back 
uh, training in, how I start it off. Um, working from a straight line back to some angle backs, keeping it nice and simple for him and his learning. Um, so you'll see me demo how I introduce the bat to a dog. All right then, thank you. Right, so I have my food bowl. I've got Sid on the board and we're gonna do back. Okay, now because he's going, he's going to curve with that shoulder, I'm going to use that arm. So I'm also starting, even though it's an introduction to back, but he's learning to turn on each shoulder. And I'll show you the other side as well. Because it's a good skill for them to learn off the bat. All right, I've kept it fairly short from on the board. And what I'll do as well to turn him off the food bowl is as I go past him up the board, I will pay him for turning and facing me. Again, I put my stop whistle on this because the reality is half the time I'm going to need to stop him out there. So I'm going to put my stop on and then I'm going to push up. So it looks like this. Back. Okay, so it's got to be really clear for that dog to see. Okay, some people push forwards. I personally like a high up so they can really see me go up with my arm. My stop's here, but bang, because I need to see them at me at a distance and needs to be visible. Some people even put a bit of white on them, okay, to help. But this is just back, right? So I mean, go back, take that line, that your arms, so where you stop. I want you to stay, go on it, or when I've pushed them onto that line, stay on that line and go back. So I'm putting, putting the food in the bowl. Walking past it. So he has to not run into the fence, but take the other direction, okay? Because I don't want him going on that shoulder with that arm. And I'll slightly move up that side. Back. That's very good lad. Good boy. Tell you in every little bit that I want Sid to remember, okay? It's being on the board, turning and facing me. Back. Good lad. Paying him coming back to me. increasing a bit of distance, yeah? the other way round. Food in the bowl.
See, he's taking that shoulder a lot nicer because we've got the board close to the thing, so to the wall, so he has to use that shoulder to turn on it. And this will also help with your angle back. I've done that and they've learnt the straight back for a while I then like I said will introduce a diagonal back okay so again they're still going on that shoulder but they're knowing they have to take a slight angle because sometimes we, they won't I won't always get them there by doing left and right sometimes if I just curve them out to an angle they might hit it easier than me stopping and starting okay an angle but still a back okay So we'll show the other side and then we're done. You can see he's still using that shoulder, taking that line, following where my arm is guiding him. His introduction to backs using food bowls. Like I said, later down the line, so later down the line, I might have this over six. drop a dummy, stop the dummy, but that's all later down the line. This for now is just about him learning that back, okay? That's the back. 